What is going on everyone? How are you all doing? This is Yix here at Magna Crypto, back again with another video. Today's video is going to be concentrated on Cardano and Cosmos, big things going on with those two coins. And we're also going to be breaking down the charts. So stick around and let's get the show on the road. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're getting some value from this content as well. Let's run the intro. First and foremost, let's have a look at Dogecoin. Is it's on the news, um, and today it soared eighty percent since new highs, uh, since new all-time highs. And Mark Cuban says Dallas Mavs will never sell Dogecoin again. So what's happened is the Dallas Mavericks have accepted Dogecoin as a form of payment for a lot of merchandise, and they've actually received surprisingly more than one hundred twenty thousand Doge in merchandise. Now, if we actually calculate how much that is. Um, you know, it'll be 120,000 at times 0.14, which is the all-time high, but probably a lot less than that. It's not going to be too much in actual dollar value. So additionally, the celebrity adoption continues with the U.S. restaurateur. Restaurateur, I'm not, saying, I'm not sure if I'm saying, I'm saying that right. Restor, restaurateur Guy Fieri. As a result, Doge has skyrocketed by almost 8% in a day to an all-time high and not point. One four or fourteen cents. Now this has happened. Now, of course, there's a little bit of adoption going on with Doge, Dogecoin. I'll be very honest with you. I don't think it's going to last too long. Of course, at the moment, Dogecoin has a lot of popularity. Everyone knows about it, uh, and some people are jumping on that bad bandwagon to gain some exposure. It's like when when a coin is pumping and you include that in your the title of your YouTube video, you're gonna get some more clicks, and that's the same thing that the Mavs are doing right now and this guy Fieri. Doge is, is, is hot, so why not accept as a form of payment and also get some more exposure? So I do not think it's gonna last post bull market when you know the, the cards all start falling down. I don't think this is gonna last. You know, people are gonna st stop using Doge. It'll be the end of it. Now, of course I can be wrong. So let's find out in a year's time whether this is still gonna be the case. So, I think, as I said, this is just uh, some good publicity that the Mavs are doing. Nothing too serious. Moving on to something that is serious, that is Cardano. So Cardano's prepare, Cardano prepares for Plutus powered smart contracts. So the blockchain platform Cardano is preparing for its next major upgrade, upgrade which will usher in smart contract capability through its native Plutus language. In a blog post on April 13th, IOHK, the firm behind Cardano, explained that Plutus contracts, contracts consist of parts that run on-chain and parts that run on a user's machine off-chain. And it's added that both parts are actually written in the Haskell programming language that, but are compiled by the Plutus, which provides the framework for smart contracts on Cardano. And it actually got some inspiration from Bitcoin. Without going too deep into the technicalities of it, that's what I like. The EUTXO model essentially allows val validity of transactions to be checked off chain before the transaction is sent to the blockchain. This is in contrast to Ethereum layer one, which processes transactions all on chain. So transactions execution costs can be also determined off chain before transmission, which is another unique feature. Plutus core, core will be used to define the parameters of these EUTXO transactions and compile the code developed for smart contracts. Uh, so this is the um, very important part, the very interesting part. A Plutus application framework, PAF, which provide easy access to services and applications running on the network with full web browser interoperability. So you can, it can actually interoperate with web browsers, which is something that isn't that common with uh, Ethereum. They have the, the inbuilt web browsers. And applications written on top of the PAF automatically provide a HTTP and WebSocket interface that can be used to interact with the application from the web browser. Very, very interesting. So it does seem, well, it is very interoperable with the current uh, internet system, the current HTTP system. So it might be that extra step interoperable with real world applications compared to Ethereum. Lastly, Cardano Alonso Upgrade 3 uh, will, be, will be in Q3. Plutus is part of the Alonso upgrade, a major upgrade stage on the Cardano roadmap, which 
introduces smart contracts and the ability to build dApps. Uh, and what they said is May and June will be a time for quality insurance and testing with the users, which will be followed by a feature freeze that's lasting for four weeks. So essentially, uh, we expect the upgrade, upgrade to happen in late summer. So that's, as I said, Q3, that's what we're looking at to see this upgrade. And of course, what you can expect from a, from a value perspective, a TA perspective, this is going to be massive explosion of price leading up to that point. So very, very exciting things happening with Cardano. Um, I am, full disclosure, I'm a bag holder. I've got a good exposure to Cardano. So I'm very, very happy to see that. And I think the ecosystem will finally start to properly develop when these things become online. Moving over to Cosmos, which is ahead of Cardano in terms of developing its ecosystem. Uh, and that is the... Um, production of the Gra Gravity Decentralized Exchange testnet. Um, so the main mainnet launch for their first decentralized exchange uh, is imminent. So Tendermint has acquired DeFi liquidity innovator B Harvest, creator of Gravity Dex, the first interchain decentralized exchange created for the Cosmos hub. Uh, Gravity Dex enables decentralized trading between any two Cosmos token. So that's very big. Essentially, that's what we what we have on Ethereum. All the Ethereum DEXs, you can trade with any Ethereum token. Uh, and the first tokens that will be uh, traded, let's get to the list and skip all that, are these 10. So Terra, Regen, Bitsong, Sentinel, Persistence, Akash, eMoney, Cyber, Iris, and Agoric. Uh, I mean, we could look into the actual nitty gritty of it, but essentially, it is a decentralized exchange uh, and it offers much lower fees compared to what we have on Ethereum because of the uh, technology that they have. They have a better um, AMM uh, and what is the actual term? So they've got the equivalent swap price model, ESPM and automated mark maker. So what they're doing is at the moment they're running a test net um, before the actual launch and the Gravity Dex team has submitted a formal governance proposal to allocate 5,000 Atom from the Cosmos Hub community pool to use as prize money for the Gravity Dex testnet competition. Now, a very interesting thing, I looked into how many people vo voted and whatnot and, you know, for 100, 100% of the voters voted yes. Now, of course, why wouldn't you vote yes? It, makes, it doesn't make any sense to vote no, but it's very interesting to see that it's a complete unanimous decision. There's actually like no, no one that is, uh, it doesn't make sense for someone to hold Atom and not be in favor of devel developing the community, if that makes sense. So it's, it's not a surprise, but at the same time, it's nice to see that there's no like flaky people within the community. Everyone wants the Cosmos ecosystem to actually progress. So that's why you have 100% voting yes. Now, to get into a little bit more of the Gravity Dex and how different it is from Ethereum right now, um, we won't re read all of it, but I'll just cover the, the most important parts. Now, it mentions the fact that decentralized exchanges have risen in, in, terms of, in terms of adoption at a staggering rate. But the problem with Ethereum is, you know, no surprise there, is the rising gas fees how much gas you have to pay to actually exchange a token. So what happens is only people that actually have a lot of money or potentially investors will actually invest, will actually use the decentralized exchanges. So the average person, person will never use a decentralized exchange. Let's say they only uh, wanted to purchase $100 worth of a token. If the gas fee is of $50, no normal person would actually you know, complete that transaction because of how much it costs. And this is why the likes of PancakeSwap on the Binance Smart Chain have become so successful because of the fact that um, they're a lot more cheaper to, to use, there's less slippage uh, and tolerance. So what it's saying at the moment, there's currently two, exist two types of DEXs. There are order book decentralized exchanges which rely on buy and sell orders. These can be prone to market manipulation and arbitrage. There's also automated market making DEXs that utilize liquidity pools, 
which users can supply tokens into the pool to be used by an algorithm to create liquidity. The Gravity Dex will actually have both genres of decentralized exchange exchanges merge into one and holds a lot of promise with a couple of innovations. Batch executions, the equivalent swap price model, all just together will result in quick transactions, very low gas fees, decreased slippage and resistance to manipulation. So they're solving all the problems from the Ethereum decentralized exchanges, um, which is, of course, which should be an instant, instant success. Um, if you combine it with the fact that the Cosmos ecosystem is, is very popular already, um, there's, there's a very good chance this is going to do very well. Uh, as I said, or as it says, it's solving the problems of the Ethereum exchanges. Uh, now, if they have had the benefit of hindsight, now, we've had the decentralized exchanges now for about maybe up to a year. So you can, you, they've been e easily able to see what the problems were with these DEXs and how they can resolve this. So it should be a lot better. Now, they're going into more detail about how they're able to achieve this. Um, but we don't need to go into that detail. Of course, you can look this article up and, and look for it yourself. So to conclude, there is a lot of promise for the Gravity Dex, um, for the effect this will have on the Cosmos ecosystem, being able to swap tokens whenever they want uh, in a decentralized manner is fantastic. And of course, it's going to lead to the the likes of being able to do some kind of IDO, you know, initial token offering or an ICO. Uh, this will probably lead to more innovation in the Cosmos ecosystem. So absolutely fantastic to see, especially with with the launch of IBC, this has been made possible. So, and also uh, one more very, very, very interesting thing is the Gravity Bridge. So let's get into that. Uh, with Althea's upcoming Gravity Bridge to Ethereum and the release of this DEX, we are about to witness an explosion of innovation on the network. Uh, the other thing is there is also going to be some kind of integration, potentially, I think, with the secret network, with the Polkadot ecosystem. So Cosmos is going to link in with Ethereum and also with um, the Ethereum ecosystem. So really, Cosmos is looking very, very good value right about now, especially since it's just about in the top 20, which is absolutely insane. So let's look at the charts and, and start with Cardano. Cardano, uh, what I mentioned in some of my previous videos is I think around this point, it's looking ready to tap 150. Once again, it's done that, actually exceeded it to 155, um, but it's now tapped the top of this trend line. If it actually is able to break past it and break to the upside, then I think you know there could be a massive price explosion to new all-time highs you know, towards 175, towards $2. So it's looking very, very bullish. Well, I could also see how averse for it to dip down, you know, tap that 138 again, turn it into resistance, or perhaps we look at the weekly time frame. If we look at the weekly time frame, we could perhaps see a tap of, well, again, as I said, 130, 131, uh, turn that into support. So all in all, um, Cardano is looking very, very good especially leading up to the launch of their next upgrade, Alonzo, with the smart contract capability. Uh, it's only going to keep going up. And as I, as I said, let's have a look at Cosmos. So Cosmos uh, has been doing very well in the last few days, uh, making new all-time highs. Uh, what I could see perhaps is, again, similar to what I said about Cardano, is a retest of this um, level uh, 25 which was previous a previous high turn it into support and then build on that if we look at, at it from the weekly um, perspective again this is what I said um, that it was looking like a symmetrical triangle although it was using the wicks it's broken out of that beautifully uh, so maybe we could see a retest of this perhaps hopefully not uh, of this trend line before going up uh, to the moon. So next major level is of course $30. Now we have gotten very close to that already, um, but for us to tap it properly 
and to exceed it. Uh, but now, hopefully it's gonna get into price discovery mode once it finds some support, maybe even at this wick or the next uh, previous high. But, you know, reading what we've just read about Cosmos ecosystem, what we've read about the gravity decks, Cosmos is looking very, very good value. I think it's gonna keep going on. The targets of $50, 100% will be will be tapped. As I said, I think there's a good chance of getting to 75 or perhaps even to $100. Um, you got to bear in mind, you look, look at what happened when Ethereum released its decentralized exchanges. When it started to pick up speed, there was an explosion of value within that ecosystem. So the same thing is gonna happen with Cosmos. Um, quick look at even Carver as well which is with, within the Cosmos ecosystem, is also in a, in a, in a good trend, especially today, showing a lot, of a lot of price appreciation. Quick look at B BTC and ETH. Doing what it's supposed to do, as I've mentioned, um, it's only gonna be up from there, from here. I can see 67 being tapped very soon, we've hit 65 already. Um, so it's only you've got to be patient and let it let it do its thing, let it continue to rally. Now there's going to be a bit of consolidation throughout the days, but I think um, you know the 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 rocket shoes have been strapped on and it's going to keep going forward. Uh, and a quick look at Ethereum, beautiful explosion in price. I did mention the target of twenty five hundred is next and i'll be honest i wasn't expecting it to hit hit it this quickly but it's it's gotten as high as 2485 so only 15 dollars from 2500 once it gets past there uh you know my one my first sell uh, take profit will be hit and i'll be taking a good chunk of ethereum off the table and of course we, we're going to go much further but i like to offload as as the market is getting hotter and hotter i don't want to be left holding you know bag at the end of this so that'll be my profit taking part one so that'll be it for this video hopefully you got some value from from that and i'll see you in the next video peace